Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at attacking tennis this week and specifically today, looking at Andre Agassi's secret weapon to his success. You know, I think he had one of the greatest forehands of all time. His backhand was just a joke, how good that was. Return a serve behind Djokovic. I think Agassi's the best returner of all time. And yet I think this secret weapon that he had that made him so dangerous was that he played on top of the baseline. You know, and again, I'm gonna preempt this video and, and the others for the week by saying that this is an attacking tennis week. I'm not saying that, you know, what I give you guys this week information-wise is something that you have to use all the time, but to help further your game and, and add something to it, okay? So, standard ready position, I always think it's pretty good to be about three feet behind the baseline. Agassi was that full, step up where his toes were just behind the baseline. So this did a couple things that just gave him a significant advantage against a lot of his opponents. The first was that he's not that big of a guy. He was maybe 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 so a lot of times with how heavy the ball is in the pro game, if Agassi had stayed back, the ball might have climbed out of his strike zone above that waist level to midsection level quite often and at that point when he's up here from behind the baseline he's not directing the ball as well as he does from the position he's in just behind the baseline taking that ball as it comes up okay so the strike zone idea becomes a lot easier for you guys as you hug that baseline a little more okay secondly you know, I think this is very common around the club level. A lot of shorter players, you know, under six feet, feel like they don't have the capability all the time to play an attacking brand of tennis. But you look at Agassi, you look at David Ferrer. Ferrer's another guy that's spending a ton of time right up on top of the baseline. And this does a couple things. It gives your opponent a lot less reaction time to your ball. So a lot of times, simply by being up three feet and netting six feet of difference with where the ball has to travel, you know, a lot of times you look at scenarios where your opponent might barely get their racket on the ball. Now that six feet of difference and that same exact ball, they're not even getting a racket on it. So it's cutting down on their reaction time significantly simply by you guys stepping up just on top of the baseline. It's a pretty amazing idea, okay? Thirdly, there is a lot less running that you guys had to do, and this was where Agassi was just really deadly. He'd hang out on top of the baseline, and from the middle of the court, he loved to just get his opponent running. He actually said he, he chose longer rallies because what he wanted to do was give the guy hope of staying in the rally and just grind him out. And then the guy was exhausted for the next two or three points and Agassi would get these free points as a result of running the guy around hard and keeping him in the rally. So I'm not saying that the, you know, the overall attacking style from being on top of the baseline is to just tee off and hit winners, but to cut down on the opponent's reaction time and have a chance to run them quite a bit more and make it more of a physical test for the opponent. Okay, Agassi, just such a great player, and I think that there's not enough, you know, 5'10", 5'11", guys utilizing that style of play the way he did, and I think there's a lot to be learned from watching Agassi, you know, shorten up that distance between his ready position and the baseline, okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the link of this video. You guys will find um, three free courses that Mark and I have put together. I think you guys will find those really helpful as well. And until next time, enjoy, and we'll see you soon.